Ball outside the one, second and goal. Cutler throws and it throws it out of his hand. Is it a fumble? No, if it incomplete. is, y'all are going to call it incomplete. Tim Dobbins of the Chargers picked it up and ran it out of bounds. What a freak play that was. My main question is, is that the empty hand? Yeah, let's look at it here. We have this luxury. Oh, he, his arm hadn't gone forward. See, he was coming back when that ball came out, and his hand was empty when it came forward. That's what I mean by the empty hand. I think that ball slides out before. See, arm goes back, ball comes out. That's a fumble. Well, there's an earlier call in the game where the technical device for review was not functioning, and the play was not overturned that should have been that gave Denver the ball on a Champ Bailey steal when it was uh, revealed when we saw the replay quite obviously that Chris Chambers was down before Bailey took the ball away from him. See, remember that the hand has to be going forward for it to be in that ball in it for it to be a forward pass, Dick. That would <laughs> time after time after time you hear the official talk about the empty hand and that hand there was about as empty as it's going to get when it started coming forward. He reared back to throw it and as soon as the rear back starts the ball goes south. How does that well it was it was slipping out of his hands before Initially. he even brought it up. Absolutely. That was a fumble. Well it's being reviewed now and what a freakish play that would be to decide this uh, outcome. Cutler, who was so brilliant, especially the first half, played impeccably. And how does this happen? And the, the, and the whistle was blown by Ed Hockley, the referee. He was right there. From his angle, I guess he, he thought it looked like an incomplete pass. The ball will be placed at the 10-yard line. There's 1.14 on the clock. The ruling on the field stands. It's third down. Well, what's the ruling? That it's a fumble? How can it be at the 10 yard line? The balls at the two yard line was the line of scrimmage or inside the two. Cutler has the ball drop out of his hand. Can't be an incomplete pass or the ball will be back at the two. He said it's going to be placed at the 10. But the fumble, if it was a fumble, was recovered by San Diego. The play should have been ruled a fumble by rule. The ball was dead when it hits the ground because the whistle was blown. Mm -hmm. Therefore, it's Denver's ball at the 10-yard line, which is the spot that the ball hit the ground. Third down. So Hockley actually has made an error here. Correct. Listen for the whistle. Right there. Ed Hockley, the referee, is behind Jay Cutler. He rules it an incomplete pass. And as soon as that butt whistle blows, the ball hits. It's it's ruled an incomplete oh. Boy, if you're Norv Turner and don't win this game, you've got to go home and you got to take all sharp instruments away. So that would be the second call that would border on being ridiculously tough against you. The one in the first quarter on the very second play of the game by San Diego mm -hmm. because there was no technical equipment available for the replay that would have kept the ball in San Diego's hands instead of giving it to Denver inside the 30 and now this call. So Ed Hockley says that it should have been ruled a fumble but the whistle was blown by so him. The spot where the ball landed was the 10 yard line. This is the earlier play. Chris Chambers comes in champ Bailey's on him catches elbow down then ball comes out it was ruled a fumble replay was down and could not overturn it yeah the technical device wasn't available for the review so here's Cutler on third down and the draw play 